Hey guys, it's Cassie and welcome to my channel. So today's video is actually going to be my first video on this channel. I do have another channel, so if you haven't seen it, it'll be linked in the description box below. But this channel is going to be all about books, reading booktube. It's going to be a booktube channel. I'm really, really excited about because reading has been something that I've gotten back into in the past year. I feel like a lot of people throughout quarantine got back into reading um today's video is going to be my march tbr um hopefully i get this up quick i already filmed this video but i filmed it within my february wrap-up i think i'm gonna make them two separate videos so yeah anyways if you like this video make sure to subscribe and give it a big thumbs up comment down below and turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload from me i'm gonna try and post every single week but yeah let's just get into the video so the first book i'm gonna be reading in march i've already started when i'm filming this it's march 5th i think i'm gonna try to get this up today or tomorrow so i've already started reading this it is the fourth and a half book in the pretty little liars series so if you can't see behind me sorry there's missing book that's where my tbr goes so if you can't tell though all of this is the pretty little liar series i decided i was gonna read the series this year and i'm really liking it so far spoiler alert from my wrap up but i read two of the pretty little liar books in january and then i read two in february three in February. Oh, this is the fourth and a half book and the reason it's fourth and a half, fourth and a half because they wrote, Sarah Shepard wrote this way after, after she wrote the next few books in the series. So she just put it in, in between, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So this book picks up after the fourth book and it's in between the fourth and the fifth book because in the fourth book you find out who a is and so that ends so this is them living them their life without a during christmas break it's separated into four different chunks and it's um each of the girls perspectives so you get spencer aria emily and hannah each of them have their own chunk in here i've read hannah's and i'm a little bit into emily's they each have like 100 pages. This is like a 430 page book, I think. Oh, 450 pages. I wasn't gonna read this one and I wasn't gonna read the prequel. Oh yeah, I read the prequel in January. So I wasn't gonna read these cause I, you know, they were published after, but I have read the prequel and I'm reading this one just cause I don't think I'm gonna wanna go back in between or back after I finish the series to read this cause then it just doesn't make, doesn't really matter. So yeah, I'm already a good chunk into this. But yeah, I really like this series so far. It's different enough from the TV series because I really liked the TV series until the end. Because if you know, you know, the ending, not great. But I really like the series, but the books are, there's so many differences already. So it's different enough that I can read the whole series because I was a little scared it was just going to be to the same and then I know everything that was gonna happen but it's still different enough next on my TBR for March is a good girl's guide to murder from Holly Jackson um, I've had this for I think I got it at the end of 2020 and I just haven't gotten a chance to read it yet I mean it's not a small book I think it's also 400 pages yeah I think this one's 400 pages I don't know why but this month I chose like four different or three different books that are 400 pages, which usually I just cap out at like 350. <laughs> That's like where most of my books kind of sit. If you can see my bookshelf, they're most of them are pretty small. So I don't know why I decided to read three 400 pages plus in one month, but we're just going to do it. Anyways, so if you haven't heard of A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, I'm just going to read this synopsis. Pretty and popular high school senior Andy Bell was murdered by her boyfriend, Saul Singh, who then killed himself. It was all anyone could talk about, and five years later, Pip sees how the tragedy still haunts her town. But she can't shake the feeling that there was more to the story. She knew Sal when she was a child, and he was always so kind to her. How could he possibly have been a killer? Now a senior herself, Pip decides to re-examine the closed case for her final project. 
at first just to cast doubt on the original investigation. But soon she discovers a trail of dark secrets that might actually prove Saul innocent, and the line between past and present begin begins to blur. Someone in Fairview doesn't want Pip digging around for answers, and now her own life might be in danger. This is the story of an investigation turned obsession full of twists and turns with an ending you'll never expect. This is just the epitome of books that I like. <laughs> um, I just like, like, mystery, murder, all those things are my type of books. I do want to get into other books, so if you have any recommendations for like fantasy, romance, any of that, I really would like to get into those kind of books this year. I am trying to read um, my collection currently because all of these books on my bookshelves I haven't read. I keep my ones that I have read in a different spot because I don't have room from them <laughs> for them on my bookshelf. Yeah, so I'm still buying books though. I'm not on like a no buy. So if you have any recommendations, make sure to leave them in the comments. But yeah, this is like the epitome of books that I like. So I'm really excited for this one. Then I want to read my other 400 page book, 440 books. It is Hidden Bodies from Caroline Kepney's, Kepney's, I don't know. This is the second book for the You series. I didn't read You, the original, but my friend did. She said it was similar enough that I could just start with this one. So I'm just, <laughs> so I'm just starting with this one. But I do want to read this one because I've heard this one has like a decent amount of differences from the show to the book. And in April, the third book is coming out. So I do want to get that. I don't actually know if I'm going to get it in April because when I looked it up for pre-order, it's $37 for the hardcover. And I don't really want to pay $40 for a book. So I might wait a little bit till it comes in paperback. But anyways, I would still like to read this. I've had this book for over a year and I just need to read it. You was one of my favorite TV series. So I'm sure the book is just as good. Picks up with Joe moving to LA and finding another person to be obsessed with. Which is basically him being very paranoid about what he said in the past and it following him to LA. Um, he works in a bookstore again and has a new girlfriend and he doesn't want her to find out what he did in the past. And there's more murder. There's more twists and turns in this book. So I'm super excited to actually read this. I might do a reading vlog for this, but we'll see. I did want to do a reading vlog for the Pretty Little Liar series, but since I've read four of them already, I didn't know if it was really worth it. So I don't know if it's worth it me just starting now, um, but I will make a wrap up video about them, it for sure. Speaking of Pretty Little Liars, then my next two books are the fifth and sixth book in the series, so Killer and then Wicked. Actually, I think Wicked's first and then it's Killer. I think I took them out of order. Wicked picks up right after Christmas break and there's a new A in town. And then I don't want to read the back of this because then it'll be spoiler for what happens in this book and what happens in this book. So we're not reading the back of this, but this is basically just the sixth book in the series and we're still following the girls and A is still terrorizing them. So yeah. So that is my March TBR. I'm only doing five books because I did finish five books in, spoiler alert, in February I finished five books and that's the shortest month of the year so I was like really proud of myself. But I am getting my dual degree so I'm getting two degrees at the same time for my psychology, for psychology and sociology and if you're in school you know March and the first half of April is extremely busy so I don't want to bite off more than I can chew so I think having three books that are 400 pages and then the other two are like 300 pages i think that'll probably be my probably be my max for this month but i guess you'll see in my march wrap up if i decide to pick something up else up or what happens with that but yeah that is my march tbr i hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure to subscribe i'm really excited to join the booktube community as i'm making videos because i've been following a lot of people on booktube for a hot minute now so yeah i'm very excited to, to make videos again if you want to see check out my other channel it'll be in the description box below if you like this video make sure to subscribe give it a thumbs up comment down below 
suggestions for other books, videos you want to see, just comment anything down below and turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload from me. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!